I welcome you all for the next video on epicyclic gear drive. In the last video, we did solve the problem on epicyclic gear drive with uh, just two gears and those two gears were connected by an arm. Now in this video, we have uh, gears A, B, gear C, gear D and gear E and the number of teeth on each of the gears are given here. So 40 is the number of teeth on gear A, 30 for B, 70 is the number of teeth on gear C, for, uh, again 40 is the number of uh, teeth on the gear D and 60 is the number of teeth on gear E. Gear E. Okay, right. Now out of these gears, out of these gears, gear B and C is compound drive. Gear B and C is compound drive which means the speed of the speed of gear b and the speed of gear c are equal gear c are equal now the question part is now the question part is we need to find the speed and direction of the wheels a and e if the arm is rotating at 210 rpm clockwise and the gear d is fixed so we need to find the speed of gear a and e when gear D is fixed, an arm is rotating at 210 rpm clockwise. Now first we need to identify number of uh, elements. Now we have first element as gear A. Now second element we have gear BC. Since it is a compound drive, it is taken as a single element. Keep in mind, next we have gear D. Next we have gear E. And last part is the arm A. Arm A. So in total we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements. So keep in mind this 5 would be helpful in the table of motion. So totally we have 5 elements. Now going to table of motion. Table of motion as we said in the last uh, video, as we said in the last video, these 3 rows remain same. And these, th these 2 columns are remain same. Now the number of additional column depends on the number of elements. Since we have 5 elements, so we have 5 columns. First column is for arm, second column is for gear A, third column is for compound drive BC, fourth column is for gear D and fifth is for gear E. Now the first step, now the first step here is, the first step here is fixing the arm, fixing the arm which means the speed of arm is assumed as 0 as we did in the last video. Now the gear A goes for plus 1 revolution counterclockwise that is given here. Keep in mind, so we are following a different sign convention. Usually clockwise is taken as positive, counterclockwise is taken as negative and in this video we have taken clockwise as negative and counterclockwise as positive okay right so which means gear a we assumed as plus one revolution clockwise so this will be plus this will be plus now gear a if you go back to the original diagram gear a you can see gear a is in direct mesh with gear b you can see this part gear a is in direct mesh with gear b therefore if a is taken as positive if a is taken as positive that is counterclockwise direction and gear b will rotate clockwise negative keep in mind a is taken as counterclockwise and b will be taken as negative clockwise now b and c is a compound drive next gear d next gear d again if you go back to the diagram if you go back to the diagram and you can see gear D is in direct mesh with C. Gear D is in mesh with C. C is taken as negative, therefore C is taken as negative, therefore gear D will be taken as positive. And in the last part, E is in mesh with D, therefore this will be negative. So don't forget about the sign convention because in the table of motion, using plus minus for various elements will be very very helpful in 
solving the problem correctly solving the problem correctly now based on the assumption based on the assumption we got two entries in these two cells now we need to get the revolution of bc d and e now gear b is in mesh with a gear b is in mesh with a so by the speed of gear formula nb by na is equal to ta by tb and na is assumed as 1 if you cross multiply this will become 1 this will become 1 this will become plus 1 therefore therefore nb is equal to ta by tb but since a and b are rotating in opposite direction don't forget to use minus sign here negative sign here don't forget to use negative sign here so after substituting the number of teeth which is given in, as the part of the question nb will be nb will be nb will be minus 40 by 30 minus 40 by 30 now come to the table of motion and it is filled here so the revolution of revolution of b and c is minus 40 by 30 next is revolution of d as we said earlier d is in mesh with c d is in mesh with c therefore the speed of gear d is given like this but b and c is a compound drive and c is not the primary driver whereas b gear b is the primary driver in which b and c forms the compound drive therefore the speed of the gear by the compound drive formula is given here nd by nc into nb by na is equal to tc by td into ta by tb now b and c is a compound drive we said earlier so these two are equal which means in the equation these two cancel each other therefore nd by na is equal to tc by td into ta by tb and don't forget to add plus sign here because a is positive bc is negative d is positive here now after substituting the number of teeth c d a and b you will get nd as plus 7 by 3 after sub substituting all the values which was uh, the part of the question you will get nd as plus 7 by 3 now we got this entry as well that is the revolution of d now the last part is revolution of e revolution of e now e is in mesh with d therefore to find the speed of gear e we are using this formula ne by nd is equal to td by te and we have to add minus sign we have to add minus sign here don't forget now what is td if you go back td is minus 7 by 3 here minus 7 by 3 sorry uh, td is plus 7 by 3 sorry nd is plus 7 by 3 nd is plus 7 by 3 now substitute substitute nd is plus 7 by 3 td by t te you have value as 40 and 60 and this minus sign indicates e is in opposite with uh, d after substitute necessary values and cross multiplying and cancelling the terms you will get ne as Minus fourteen by three, n e s minus fourteen by nine, minus fourteen by nine. Now substitute here, minus fourteen by nine. So this completes the first step. This completes the first step. Now what is the second step? You have to multiply each of the rows, each of the rows with the x, and you'll get this value. Zero into x is zero. 1 into x is plus x minus 40 by 30 into x is minus 40x by 30 plus 7 by 3 into x is plus 7x by 
minus 14 by 9 into x is minus 14x by 9. You have to multiply each element by x. Now the third step. Now the third step. The third step is you have to add plus y to all the element. So 0 plus y is y here. Plus x plus y is here. And if you add, if you add y to this element, it will be here. If you add y to this, you will get this value. If you add y to this, you will get this. You will get this value. So these are the values. Once you are done with the table of motion, now we need to look at the necessary speeds. That is, speed of arm is here. This is speed of uh, 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 gear A. This is uh, uh, speed of gear B C compound drive. This is speed of gear D, and this is speed of gear E. Once everything is done, we, we need to go for uh, solving the unknowns. The question is, we need to find the speed and direction of A and E. And what is given is, arm is 210 rpm clockwise and D is fixed. By table of motion, by table of motion, the speed of the arm is plus y. Therefore, plus y is taken as minus 210. Because arm revolves at 210 rpm clockwise, therefore plus y equal to minus 210. Another condition given is gear D is fixed, which means ND should be equated to 0. Should be equated to 0. By table of motion, ND is, that is the speed of gear D is here. The speed of gear D is here. So the speed of gear D is the speed of gear D is here. Minus 210 plus 7x by 3 equal to 0. Actually, it is uh, plus y plus 7x by 3 equal to 0. Substitute y here and you will get the value of x is 90. Therefore, the speed of gear A is by table of motion. The uh, uh, look at the fourth column revolution of element last uh, cell revolution of a is plus y plus x which is given in this part so you know plus y you know plus x substitute we will get minus 120 which means the speed of gear a based on the given condition is 120 rpm clockwise direction so this is the first part of the question now the second part is we need to find the speed of gear E. Gear E. Now from the table of motion, speed of gear E is, speed of gear E is this one. Plus y minus 14x by 9. So it is plus y minus 14x by 9. Substitute y, substitute x. We will get answer as minus 350 rpm which means 350 rpm clockwise direction. Hope uh, you are able to follow this. Thank you.